He is known as the Trigger Man. He's the quarterback. Bill O'Brien knows better than anyone what the quarterback means and how to coach the position. When he became the head coach at Penn State, he entrusted the all-important job of teaching his quarterbacks to Charlie Fisher, a man with deep Pennsylvania roots. The day that Coach O'Brien offered me the job, it didn't take long to say, yes, hey, Coach, I'm coming, I'll do whatever you need. And uh, to make a, a call to my mom and to my family and to my wife's family, that, that was a special day. He's a Pennsylvania guy. He, he cares about Pennsylvania. He cares about Penn State. You know, Pennsylvania's a great football state. I can remember Franco Harris, Lydell Mitchell, Ted Qualley. To have a place like Penn State right up the road that you know had all the tradition. This is what you think about. It's what you play for. Just looking forward to, to getting to play. That's what we work for. Coach O'Brien's a, a fiery guy who'll get on you, and Coach Fisher's kind of the laid-back guy who's just going to try to talk to you and correct things out. They work so well together and developing their quarterbacks and, and making sure that we have the answers before we even play the game on Saturday. Everybody thinks a quarterback is passing. There's a lot more to it than that. He's got to know his side of the ball inside out, and then he's got to be able to dissect what the defense is trying to do to stop what you're trying to accomplish. You okay with what coach is giving you that, okay? And, and that's where Matt has made great strides. His line of scrimmage presence has come so far. He's making great checks. He's getting us into good plays. Rolls left, down, rolls right, rolls near side. Looks, fires in the end zone, caught, touchdown, Penn State. Sometimes that play may unfold and be successful. Sometimes it may not. But you can tell when he's trying to get us to things that have the best chance of success, because that's really what football is, trying to put your team in the best situation to succeed on a consistent basis. Breaks a tackle, the 10 to the 5, far corner, touchdown, Penn State. He's played a big role with all the quarterbacks, and he's just a, a guy that's been around a lot of good quarterbacks, a lot of good receivers, and he's brought that to, to Penn State. Having coached 15 years wide out at, at Division I or there so, and then also working with the quarterbacks for a number of years at, at various levels in Division I, I've had a chance to see both sides of it in the past game. But that's why they talk about those guys being in sync and, and kind of having a chemistry. It's because they understand what's going on on both sides. Touchdown, Penn State! He really is a good technically sound coach when it comes to coaching quarterbacks, whether it's footwork or throwing mechanics or eye placement, pocket awareness. There you go. Find that pocket. Good job. Good job. I thought it was like 38 because he was on 35, I was on the line. Yeah, that's okay. I, saw I understand. Right. Doing it. That's right. Good job, man. Keep playing smart, man. You're playing well. I tell everybody, you know, I'm, I'm the luckiest guy in the, you know, to me around. To have an opportunity to coach at Penn State growing up here in central Pennsylvania, to work with quarterbacks, to learn from a guy like Coach O'Brien who coached the best, and Tom Brady, I mean, heck, I mean, that's a plate full right there. But w when you have an opportunity to work with guys that want to learn, that, uh, that, that want to excel, it's going to the process, that's what's really fun. Now back, straight back, good, get some depth. That's nice, nice. 